so it is actually their conclusion all right so now we go into real number line about intervals so now intervals let's say if you have a and b these are numbers lah. okay so whenever we have a equals to b that should be the symbol less than b kecil lagi kecil okay bukaan ni kecil ni besar so yang ni this one should be greater than b this one less equal than b and then uh, accordingly this one is greater equal than b all right so now let's look into what is the finite intervals so finite intervals basically we have a starting point we have starting point and end points so let's say if you have a up till b with a close bracket here so in inequalities we should denote that as any x any x too much jump unknown lah in the middle any x which is in between a and b so how to represent that into a number line that should be in between a and b with a full dot dah with a full circle okay and then accordingly this one because we have an open bracket here without equal sign that should be an empty circle at a and b and then accordingly if you have one open and one close respectively it would be represented by empty circle and full dot circle as well as this huh? okay so note that that one is a closed interval that one is open interval but both of the least two intervals are half open which is that one is left and then another one is right okay so now how about infinite intervals infinite intervals is everything with infinity it will involve infinity so let's say if you have negative infinity up until b we should actually denote that as an open interval like this so x is any numbers but then less than b okay so representation on number line should be with an arrow like that same goes with this but because we have a close interval there that's why we should denote that as a close uh, i'm sorry full dot circle huh? okay accordingly it would be to the right for the one with bigger or greater values okay so now note that that these are half open intervals since x is always root in the left side as a subject okay eh? x tu sentiasa duduk dekat belah kiri so cannot do it like this quite awkward lah uh, no cannot write it like that huh? all right so now we want to do some examples so we have to distinguish the type of intervals as well as represent them on a number line okay so what happened if you have one till seven negative two till five open bracket and five till infinity as well as x less than equal to zero but x at the same time is real numbers or is actually less than zero negative infinity up until zero included okay so now since it's a close interval so full dot at one full dot also at seven open interval both with empty circles as well as if you have five till infinity so to the right and then negative infinity zero to the left okay so now next what happened if you have union and intersection of intervals so union means it belongs to a or b unions means o in uh, a short explanation intersection means end okay eh? to like simply understand this so for example if you have zero up until six so sorry 
I somehow, okay. So, 0 up until 6 and then negative 1 up until 5. So, how to solve if you have A intersect with B? So, the idea is you have to identify all the numbers involved here from the smallest one up until the biggest one. So, we have negative 1 up until 6. So, list down every numbers that involve. That will be negative 1, 0, 5, 6. So, now at 0 till 6, it would have a line for it. And then another one, this one is actually A. Another one for negative 1 up until 5, it would have another line for it. Okay, so if you are considering intersection, we are finding a region. Okay, before that, you might want to have a dotted line here to discriminate every of the region. Okay, so now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 region altogether. So, should be, we would considering region with two lines in it. So, now, basically, that is the line that I want between 0 up until 5. So, our answer should be from 0 up until 5. 0 included, 5 not included. Or, in case you want to denote that as in a set solution, you would be having to write it into x in between 5 and greater equal to 0 lah. Okay, so now what happened if you want to find a union region? So union region again have to list down all the lines and then it's actually all the region with line. Okay, so from negative 1 up until 6. Alright, okay, so now, what happened to our example 4 here? So, example 4, there are two examples and each of them, each of them consisted of uh, two respective examples.